pharmacology experiments. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this lecture, we are discussing about the gross behavioral activities of mice. Gross behavioral testing has been extensively used to gain a better understanding of the nervous system in most uh, behavioral tests used to evaluate sensory motor function as well as learning and memory aim to measure an animal's ability to solve a task. What is behavioral testing? Behavioral testing in animals investigate propensities towards certain kinds of behavior and interaction with other animals. Provide a behavioral and functional profile by observational assessment of mice. All parameters are scored to enable comparison of results both pre-drug and post-drug administration. Now the procedure. Before administration of drug, observe the activities and then administer calculated dose of drug, wait for onset of action and then observe the gross behavioral activities of mice. Now we come to the part where we talk about the behavioral activities. First one, awareness and alertness test. Albino mouse is placed in a home cage separately and observe the awareness, alertness, stereotype. What is stereotype? Actually, stereotype is the repetitive movement that is invariant and without a goal. Before and after administration of drug, stereotype in mice is characterized by the repetitive movement and uh, it is not considered to be a normal mice behavior. These results suggest that these uh, stereotype behaviors including chewing, um, so, uh, this uh, climbing um, and without a goal. All these activities are without the uh, goal of the mice. Now the mood test. Albino mice is placed in cage separately and observe the vocalization, restlessness, aggression before and after administration of drug and compare the result of both. Vocalization is the noisy vocalization or mostly emitted by adult mice during isolation, a situation that involves less physiological stress and anxiety than that which occurs during restraint. Aggression is a range of behaviors that can result in both physical or psychological harm. Although aggression is reported in both male and female mice, it is most commonly reported in males. Aggression is part of establishing a dominance hierarchy. But in the confines of the laboratory cage, subordinate animals are unable to escape from aggressors. In the next slide, test for spontaneous activity. Albino mouse is placed in a transparent cage separately for at least 15 minutes and observe the spontaneous activity that include twitching, uh, tremors, 
before and after administration of activity motor activity is a good index for studying the effects of pharmacological agents weaving cage test albino mouse is placed in a weaving transparent cage separately and observe the parameters including fearfulness cornea reflex light reflex and uh, number of deaths but before and after administration of drug and compare the result of both in one variant rodents are subjected to a combination of mild stressors including overnight elimination food deprivation cage tilt or change of cage mat uh, cage uh, mat over a period of weeks what is the function of corneal reflex purpose of this reflex is to protect the eyes from foreign bodies and bright lights which cranial nerve is corneal reflex the corneal blink reflex is caused by a loop between the trigeminal sensory nerves and the facial motor uh, seventh nerve innervation of the orbicularis oculi muscles the reflex activates when a sensory stimulus contacts either free nerve endings or uh, mechano receptors within the epithelium of the cornea test for touch response uh, this test in the albino mice albino mice is placed in a worm cage separately and observe the touch response and body movements after touching with the help of for example with the help of pencil at various positions of the body especially tail before and after administration of drug and note the touch response in animal before administration of drug and after administration of drug and compare the both result test for pain response albino mice is placed in a home cage separately and observe the pain response and uh, sedation after touching tail before and after administration of drug in response to pain mice may vocalize pain in rodents usually results in decreased activity or sometimes piloerection and an uh, ungrouped appearance or they may be excessive licking and scratching they may adopt an abnormal stance with ataxia but rats and mice may become unusually aggressive when handled acute pain may cause vocalization mice with nervous system uh, that they feel pain fear loneliness and joy just as we do these highly social animals communicate with each other using high frequency sounds that are inaudible to the human ear in the next slide this test is a wire hanging test in this test stainless steel bars are used for this purpose mice is placed on a stainless steel bar separately with the help of fore limb or hind limb and observe the grip strength body tone and limb tone to evaluate the motor or muscular function of the animal before and after administration of drug wire hanging test seeks to evaluate 
motor function and deficit in rodent models of CNS disorders. Test begins with the animal hanging from an elevated wire cage top. The animal is placed on the cage top, which is then inverted and suspended above the home cage. The latency to when the animal falls is recorded. Writing reflex test. Albino mice is placed on the surface on its back. If animal remains in the same condition, so the loss of writing reflex occurs. And also observe the tonic-clonic and myoclonic seizures before and after administration of the test drug. The writing reflex is the motor ability for a mouse up to be able to flip onto its feet from a supine position. Writing reflex is a reflex that corrects the orientation of the body when it is taken out of its normal upright position. Writing reflex correct the orientation of the body. Home cage activity. Albino mouse is placed in a home cage separately for at least 15 minutes and observe the passivity, irritability, piloerection and a startle response before and after administration of drug. Aggressive behavior in animal may be characterized as under, under the stimulus control of social cues uh, resulting from the behavioral interaction of the participants. Pyroerection in mice is often a sign of ill health or distress, not good or as a response to cold or uh, fear. In a startle response, contraction of the major muscles of the body, generally leading extension of the fore paws and hind paws. Passivity, the core feature is the belief that one is no longer in control of one's own body, feelings or, or thoughts. The individual feels that some external agent is controlling them to feel emotions, to desire to do things, to perform actions or to experience bodily sensations. Respectively, these are termed passivity of affect Passivity of impulse, passivity of volition, and somatic passivity. A startle response is a response to sudden startling stimuli, such as sudden noise, sharp movement. The startle reaction is a response to sudden or uh, startling stimuli. Uh, usually, the onset of the startle response is refractory. In rodents, the startle response is typically evoked using either acoustic or tactile stimuli and is characterized by contraction of the major muscles of the body, generally leading to uh, extension of the pause. Um, usually, the onset of a startle response is refractory. refractory. A staggering gait test. Gait analysis is the study of the manner of walking, 
it is used to worldwide to aid in the diagnosis and treatment of a wide range of ambulatory problems uh, including parkinson disease muscular dystrophy and nerve injury it is increasing being recognized as a useful preclinical assay to better understand how animal models may reflect the human condition and to generate quantitative metrics of normal and abnormal gait a reeling tottering and tipping gait in which the individual appears as if it may fall backward or uh, lose balance irregularities or uh, unevenness of his steps is measured by observing the spots on beam and it is for evidence of motor coordination or balance problem as you can see in the figure the assessment of gait and locomotion is important in conditions that affect the central nervous system peripheral nervous system and skeletal structures or muscles tottering mice are ataxic and exhibit abnormal eye movement these mice are exhibit attacks of motor dysfunction that occur uh, once or twice per day attacks begin with extension of the hind limbs followed by abduction at the hip and extension at the knee ankle and paw balance beam test the balance beam test is fairly easy place the mouse at the starting end and then encourage it to cross the beam to the other side researchers can then measure the latency to walk across or the number of foot slip one uh, commonly major uh, characteristics is the performance of the rodents hind limbs animal performance in crossing balance beams of varying degrees of difficulty is measured for evidence of motor coordination and balance thank you for watching this video if you like our presentation please like share subscribe to our channel and be sure to press the bell icon thank you